Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a quick uh, modification to the uh, Harbor Freight 20 ton shop press. Um, I'm simply, I'm going to show you guys this. I know for most of you this is going to be a no brainer, but um, there's already holes in here and I wanted to put casters on there. I got a bad habit of buying the kind of casters with mounting brackets on there. Uh, today was the first day I actually had some common sense and decided to buy one with a 3 8 uh, thread on it. So there's already holes in here. All you have to do is buy four of these casters from Home Depot. They're $7 a piece or so. And they don't come with nuts. So you'll want to, uh, I bought a bag of 3 8 washers and a, a bag of nuts. And I'm, I'm simply gonna put those guys on there. And the point of this is to be able to move the press around the shop without having to constantly um, take take these uh, arbor plates off or whatever they're called and just ease of being able to move it. So get that one started and get this one started and these wheels are of a, uh, probably two and a half inch diameter. Let me see here. Well, it's too faded to tell. Anyway, I bought eight of them because there's something else I want to throw some wheels on. Card casters. You should actually just block this with a 2x4 or something, but I seldom do things the right way. One thing I found is doing them the wrong way takes longer every time. It's just laziness that keeps me from doing it. It's kind of like reading instructions. I never do it. And it takes me longer to piece the project together because of it. And I still don't read them. The threads on that one are a little bit jacked up. I will just simply take a socket and get that down. But I think you get the idea. I'm gonna keep filming though. <laughs> just to uh, film anything that might go wrong. Just gonna snug that up on to the next one. Breaks off. Cool. Notice I used swivel casters on all of them. I think that will allow me to move it across the shop easier instead of having fixed ones. So, anyway, that's what I did. The total time was less than five minutes, I think. And what a nice, easy uh, modification to make your uh, shop press a little more functional. See if I can get this whole thing in the picture. Not that it really matters, but went through the trouble of filming this. Might as well show this off a little bit. So this press was probably like 150 bucks or something at Harbor Freight. I've used it a few times. I used to have a big hydro uh, electric one and 
I use it a couple times a year at most. This thing does a great job and it takes up less space. So um, one thing I would say is it'd be nice to have a little retainer, something just to hold this arm and um, maybe a little tool tray to hold a couple of different, um, I think they might be called arbors, something that slip over here for doing different types of presses. Uh, so I'll, I'll make a video on that when I make them. But for now, this thing is going to be nice and easy to move around the shop. So hopefully you like the video. Total cost for this, um, I had about $6 in the fasteners, which is enough to do several more of these. And then the swivels themselves, there's four of those at $7. So that's 28 bucks. So a total of maybe like around 33 bucks or so. Um, and now this thing is a hell of a lot easier to use or move around anyway. Thanks.